The curiosity, persistence, and fierce attention to detail of a single American scientist led to one of the most important environmental records of scientific history. Charles David Keeling was born in the late 20s and grew up in the suburbs of Chicago during the Great Depression. As a young scientist, Keeling constructed an instrument to measure the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. At the time, the amount of carbon in the air was not well known. But Keeling wanted to know the concentration precisely to support another project he was working on at the time. So he decided to build a device and make his own measurements. Little did he know that this side experiment would form the basis for much of his life's work. What he discovered from his initial measurements was an interesting daily pattern in carbon dioxide concentrations. The pattern was the same everywhere he went, from the rainforest in the Northwest to the White Mountains here in Arizona. The air contained more carbon at night than it did during the day. What he was seeing was the breathing of plants. Plants were taking in carbon from the air during the day for photosynthesis and respiring some of that carbon back to the air at night. He also found that afternoon concentrations were nearly the same everywhere he sampled. Keeling had taken the time to build a device and develop a sampling strategy that enabled him to make more precise measurements of carbon dioxide in the air. What his work showed was a surprising regularity in the Earth system and its influence on our atmosphere. Just as important, though, his work showed the need for highly accurate measurements to reveal this regularity. His work caught the attention of the United States Weather Bureau, and in the late 50s, he began measuring carbon dioxide at the summit of Mauna Loa in Hawaii. The curiosity and need for precision that drove Keeling to take those initial measurements gave rise to what is known today as the Keeling Curve. This is the longest continuous record showing the change in carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere. This set of measurements has led to a number of momentous discoveries related to Earth's climate system and transformed um, scientific understanding of humanity's relationship with the Earth.